All right, so back to what we were looking at here, custom UI. So how do we do this? We do this uh, using a combination of tools, uh, first of which is going to be the PixArt editor. I'm going to use my pen here for a moment. So if we go here, we navigate to PixArt, you can see I have all of these images that I'm using in the UI as, uh, as pixel art sprites, but they are not pixel art. So how do we do this? Let's make a new one. I'm going to just create a new sprite here. We're going to get our sprite. Now, one, uh, one thing to be conscious of as you're doing this, what we're going to do is we're going to import an image as raw. And when you import an image as raw, you cannot edit it. So if you want to name this sprite, you need to do it before you import the image. Oops, let's forgot when I use the pen, it gives me this weird keyboard. Uh, I don't even remember who was the next, was it Flippy, the frog guy? Or was it, was his name Slippy? I don't remember. Is it Slippy? I have Slippy there. Let's call it Slippy. I'm not sure what the frog guy's name is. So I'm going to name that. <coughs> um, and then we're going to tap this little import here. And if you are on an iOS device like I am, this is going to open up your files folder. It does not go to your photo, uh, whatever you call that, your photo album. Uh, so one thing you have to do before this step that I'm on now is make sure whatever images you want to save, uh, you have them saved in your files on your device. Uh, I haven't done this on an Android, so I'm sorry. I don't know exactly how it works on that side, but I would assume a similar way. Um, and then also, if we go back here for a second, um, I'm just going to back out of this, and we're going to go just open up this menu that we're working with. Uh, in these images, there's a, there's an alpha channel. So alpha channel means there's nothing there, right? You can see through it to whatever is behind it. Um, so I did have to prep these files. I used Photoshop. Uh, I know Photoshop is not super popular these days. There's many alternatives you can use if you want to make uh, a PNG file with an alpha channel, which is what these are. Uh, the other thing I did was resize them to be squares. So if we go back here, we're going to go back to our new, hey, it was slippy. All right. And we're going to hit this import. So here we are. I'm going to find now the picture of, I called it Zippy here. I cannot remember this guy's name, apparently. There's three different names I have on different files. Uh, so we're going to select that one. We're going to open it. And then we're going to get this dialog. Um, first thing it's telling us is that this image is 612 by 612. It's going to be resized to 256 by 256. 256 is currently the max size you can import. So if you import anything bigger than 256, it's going to scale it down to 256 by 256. But we can do this. We're going to import raw. Um, and then we're going to say this is a high quality resize. And essentially what this is going to do is it's going to maintain kind of the quality of the image I'm importing. It's not going to try and convert it into pixels. Once I've done that, I'm done. I can just hit import. We can see here, there is my file. We can see it has the alpha channels there because we have the checkerboard in the background. And it did automatically resize my canvas here to 256 by 256. Uh, if you were paying attention when I was in that menu earlier, it was at the default size, which I think is 64 by 64 maybe, something like that. Um, so yeah, now we got that. Uh, we can see it here in our PixArt. If we go up here to the user interface that we're creating, uh, it's really simple to add. So we're just going to add an image here to my Slippy button. I'm going to go in here to where you select the image, and we scroll all the way at the bottom. And there's all my PixArt sprites. I just select it, and there it is. Uh, it does resize a little bit. For these other ones, I have them 90 by 90. And then also, 
I don't want this guy to be overlapping the border of the button, so I've actually been taking all of these guys and putting them behind the button and then making the background of the button 100% transparent. I also don't want the text in there anymore. We've got a picture, and there we go. Now we have a working button with the picture of Slippy, as it were. If I select that, we can see there, my guy changes the Slippy. Yes, yes, you save as PNG with, with the alpha channel. Uh, it does support that when we import, as you just saw. Um, oh, I don't have my mouse. I can't scroll through the chat there. Uh, so I could do this a few more times, but I mean, I think just with that basic example, you get the idea of what it can do, right? So we can import images now into our UI that we can use for whatever. Um, like obviously you can't make the button itself your own image, but like I just did there, uh, I have my button and then I have the image added separately from that. Um, so this really opens up the possibilities of what you can do because you can go into any other software, any photo editing software, uh, and create the elements of your UI and then just import them. Um, so you're not any more limited to just the shapes and the, you know, whatever different stuff we have in the UI node. Um, and, uh, and yeah, the only real limitation at the moment is that 256. So you can't bring in anything bigger than 256 by 256. Um, if for some reason you have a UI element that you want to be bigger than that, you could basically do it in pieces, right? So you, and you could have two 256 by 256 becomes a 256 by uh, whatever that is, 612. Um, so you can get around that. There are also uh, still some improvements coming to these tools. So there's probably gonna be a little bit more you can do with that in the future. But uh, it's already quite useful. Wait a minute, who was my next one? Snort is the name of the boar guy. So I'm going to do another one just really quickly here to show again how easy this is because it is quite easy. Go in here. There's my snort. Raw, high quality import. There we go. There he is. I can go back to my UI. Image on the snort button. Select the snort picture. We're gonna resize this to 90 by 90, and I'm gonna put it behind my button. And transparency, 100%. There we go. And uh, now my character select is just looking a whole lot tastier than it was previously. Can we cut?